It's very easy to get unlimited money and resources in Far Cry 6, so you're able to get all the weapons or gear from defenders, including from the Los Bandidos Barracks, who sell exclusive gear sets you totally want to look at. You also can buy all the hunting locations and other intel. Well, I got everything now. All my stores are empty, but I still have 15,000 pesos left and a ton of resources in my inventory for crafting. I will tell you how I did that in this video. And yes, this is a re-upload. YouTube demonetized my previous version, so I made some tweaks and also added way more information. So... You're kind of getting the complete edition now if you're watching later. A like, of course, would really help me out and let's go. Every week I'm doing a 2300 Far Cry credits giveaway, which you can enter via the link in the pinned comment. And you have to be a subscriber of the channel if you want to participate. Good luck. There are multiple ways to earn money in Far Cry 6. You, of course, get some from killing enemies, although that doesn't really make you rich. Same for the Domino's activity you can do in the home base of the Legends. Or you can go out hunting to, in the end, get some pesos. But yeah, that takes quite a lot of time. Overall, I never really engaged in these activities or sold materials for money, which you can also do, but that's a really bad deal. I would not recommend that. Now, all I did was the Los Bandidos minigame. That's it. And again, I've now bought everything in the game without having to farm for pesos at all. Maybe if you watched my previous video, you already know some tips about the Los Bandidos mini game. But I want to go a bit more in depth on it. Because from this, you can get flat out 2000 pesos as a reward from one operation. But also other operations that have no like pesos reward from finishing it can still give you a ton of money through the other steps. So the idea is, of course, that you send out a leader and then have to wait real world time, an hour or longer before you can give that leader commands and then get the rewards. So from this operation, I get a unique weapon trinket. There are actually quite a lot of cosmetics linked to this mini game. The second step from this operation already gives me 1100 pesos with a 100% success rate. And then the third step gives me another 1100 pesos. So now I got 2200 pesos from simply clicking through some menus. Took me a few seconds. And here the reward is already 2,000 pesos when I finish this operation. But I get an extra 500 in the first step and an extra 500 in the final step. So I get 3,000 money extra. And this is me after having done some Los Bandidos operations. The money is just coming in. So let's take a step back because you of course don't start out this way. First things first, you can access the Los Bandidos operations in the different home bases or via the many hideouts that you unlock with the hideout network camp facility. They can just buy these locations at the vendor and then they will appear. Before I go over all the leaders and where you can find them, I first want to tell you about another crucial camp facility that you really want to get to do this mini game and to get unlimited money and resources, and that's the Bandidos Barracks. Not really surprising looking at the name, no, but the more you upgrade this, the more recruits you can gather. Like for example, saving hostages in the world now gives you 5 recruits when you fully upgrade this building. Or doing the special operations gives you recruits too. So simply by just playing Far Cry 6, going through the main story, free roaming the open world, you get a lot of recruits which are next to leaders needed to start these Los Bandidos operations, as we also see on each card. So once you meet the requirements, which again will be easy once you build and upgrade the Bandidos barracks, they can continuously send leaders on these operations, wait real world time, so in the meantime just play the game regularly while you have this passive income. And even if you're not playing, the operations will still continue and the rewards will increase over time to the point where you get this crazy money and unlimited resources. I already crafted a ton of these high rank attachments I did a lot of Supremo and Resolver upgrades but it still feels as if I have infinite industrial circuits and industrial composites because you also get a ton through the Los Bandidos minigame. But yeah, the key is to get more leaders because they determine how many of these operations you can run at the same time. So going after them is really the fastest way to get unlimited money and resources. I already showed you this amazing side quest over here on the map which is super short and immediately unlocks two leaders. If that mission is not here for you, then you can talk to the guerrilla in the hideout nearby. You can, by the way, fast travel just to this location again after having talked to the person 
they can talk to the person again and then repeat until you get this mission. Should not take that long. I played most of the game with three leaders and that was already enough to get unlimited money and resources. But there are also other easy ways to get even more leaders to speed up the process. You get hints on the Los Bandidos leader board, but this does not take into account side missions you have to do before these final missions that are noted here. Over here on the map you find a side mission with Big Poppy. This one is easy, just complete it and immediately afterwards he joins you as a leader so you can run more operations. During the Meet the Legends main storyline there will also be a point where someone joins you as a leader and during this storyline a side mission called Undercover Stud will open up which can be in different locations depending on how far you are in the story. At first you can pick it up here bottom right corner of the map and then later on you find it over here. Just follow the mission, do the mission that follows after that and then you get Sergio as a leader for your team. Another side mission is from Freddy Jr. over here on the map, which has you complete three FND bases. Maybe you already did them, otherwise you have to go do them, and then he will also be a leader for your team. I think he is immediately there, like in the baseball court, but Maybe you have to like talk to Guerillas for this one first. And the final leader takes the most effort to get. It's through a side mission. Sergio's side mission was kind of long too. But this one is even longer. And it's Senia which you find over here. So you start her quest chain with this mission. Follow that. Then the final mission of that quest chain unlocks in Esperanza and then you unlock her as a leader. But don't worry, I will leave an article from Powerpix in the video description with the location of all the leaders. Although remember that some require you to do steps before that final mission which I just went over. So totally chase them down to speed up the process and get unlimited resource and money before you know it. I got my second operation for 400 moneda now, so it's also an easy solo way to get that currency. There are exclusive trinkets and chibis, including one from Sam Fisher, which you can only earn here. So really it doesn't take a lot of time once you got the multiple leaders. And then you are swimming in resource before you know it. Some extra pro tips before I let you go. Watch out for debuffs that can wound your leaders. If it says leader could be wounded, then always select the other step. Because if your leader gets wounded, you lose them for sometimes multiple days. Which will really slow down your money and resource game. And also important when selecting these steps that you do not lose all your recruits immediately. So look at the cost of each step. And make sure that you keep most of your recruits till the end because the final step usually also gives the best rewards and also sometimes lets you easily complete the operation. Really hope that helps. You can always leave questions in the comments. Subscribe for more Far Cry 6 videos. A like would really help me out. And check out another Far Cry 6 video by clicking on the screen. For now, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.